What is going on YouTube? Here for another video. This is Justin from Blue Collar Survival. Today I will be reviewing the Ganzo Firebird F7563. Um, seen a couple of reviews on this and uh, caught them online so I figured you know for the price that they are why not let's give them a try. I believe I picked this one up on Amazon for 18 bucks. So no complaints on the price line. Uh, fit and finish of this knife is ac actually really good. Everything pretty well lines up. Um, only a tip up for the pocket carry on both sides, which I'm okay with tip up. No deep pocket uh, clip. The, uh, the blade is made of... 440C stainless with a Rockwell scale of 58 to 60, bearing metal basically. Um, a lot of people kind of talk garbage about this metal as well, but once again, I, I haven't had any issues with it. it. It holds an edge decently, easy to sharpen. There's no problem putting a crazy edge on it. I mean, right through, so. No problem with that. It has what they call a G lock, which is kind of their knockoff of Benchmade's access lock. I will tell you right now, when you get this knife, you will have to take these scales off, and there is a spring actually on each side. It's just a, not like a coil spring, it's just basically a U. But you'll have to take that out and you'll have to bend it in some because when this thing comes from the factory, the springs are wicked, wicked strong. My thumb absolutely hurt after playing with this thing for the first day. But now, I mean, no problem. Still a little bit stiff. Um, only issue I really have with it is playing around with it, flipping it, the pivot comes loose so it'll go off centered and... As you can see, it's time for me to tighten it again. I have a little bit of blade play side to side. All I really have to do is, with my fingers, just do that. Now there's no play. A little stiffer now. Um, a little Loctite would probably fix that right up. I keep procrastinating on that. It has the blue, uh, I guess you would call them anodized screws. The, like I said, the fit and finish on this knife, especially for 18 bucks, is... These things are a still. Ganzo has a whole line of of uh, different models and stuff like this. And this one's kind of almost it's a it's a big version, pretty much of the Benchmade 940. It has the reverse Tonto, the Axis Lock, of course, or G Lock, as I should say. We have 440C. You know these guys. They took some pride. I mean. When I got it, it came with a little pouch you could slide in. It doesn't make much sense. I mean, honestly, who's going to get a pocket knife and slide it into a silky pouch and put it in their pocket? I suppose it could just be for storing, but still really nice. It was packaged well. Shipping was good. I tried to get in contact with these guys and uh, talk to them a little bit about maybe getting some, uh, doing some review stuff for, for them. I never got, any, never got anything back, but... So G10 handle scales comes in black, green, and orange. And they actually, they have, I just checked earlier, they have a uh, carbon fiber one of these. But unfortunately it says they're all out of stock and not sure if they'll go back into stock. And I kicked myself because when I ordered this, if I went to the next page on Amazon, I would have seen the carbon fiber one for just, I think it was 20 bucks and this one was 18. So kind of kicking myself a little bit. But oh, whatever, I like the orange. I don't, I don't lose it. So three and a half inch blade. Overall is just over eight inches. Uh, like I said, guys, and cows, I wanted to mention that as well. So I got called out from my last video by one of my friends, she uh, watched the video and liked it and subscribed and everything. And I had mentioned, uh, kind of gave a shout out to the boys in the military. Well, she served in the service for a little bit and she kind of called me out on not mentioning the women of the military. 
And by no means did I mean anything by that. I absolutely respect the women in our military just as well as the boys in our military. All of them. They're all doing a great job to give us what we have today, regardless of what some people may say. I salute you boys and girls. Just so I don't miss out on that. Also, I would like to uh, have another, I got a big announcement. I'm going to do, once I get 100 subs, get 100 subscribers, I am going to do a giveaway. And I will probably do a giveaway on uh, one of the knives that I actually reviewed. So we'll be sending it to one of our subscribers. So, you know, like, subscribe. If you have anybody that's into the outdoor stuff, especially budget outdoor stuff, uh, you know, tell them about it. Let's get a, let's get a hundred subscribers and uh, I'll do a giveaway. You know, I don't know which one it'll be right now. I still got a bunch more to review, but it will be one of the nice that I do a review on. So once we get a hundred, we'll do a giveaway and then we'll go from there. And I think the giveaways will get bigger as we go. You know, once we hit 500 subs, 1,000 subs, I'll start doing some bad giveaways and stuff because I would like to get on to doing some gear reviews. So I should be having some other stuff, you know, molly bag stuff like that. So, yeah. You know anybody that's into this kind of stuff? Let's get 100 subscribers and uh, let's do some giveaways. Well, everybody, this is Justin from Blue Collar Survival. You guys have a good one.